just want to make sure it wasn't a still thing. <laughs> Go, I'm sorry. Hi, good evening, everybody. This is the uh, September 10th uh, meeting of the uh, uh, yeah, Nottingham Conservation Commission. Uh, my name is Sam Demerit. I chair the Conservation Commission. To my right is Deb Kimball, who is the vice chair. To my left is Susan Mooney, who is the secretary. And over there, in the, my far right, is Louis Katowski, who is the head of the Trails Committee. And we do have a quorum, so. Now, let's begin with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Do you know Therese Thompson? Uh, I think I've seen me at town meeting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on the lakes. Moved oh, away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, we were just joined by uh, Kristen Lamb, and uh, in the audience is uh, Therese Thompson, a, a former resident who returned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Time to vote. As far as announcements, I noticed that the uh, NHACC annual meeting is, will be November 3rd, uh, 2018 at Pembroke Academy. <coughs> and registration is now open. Um, uh, we do have money in the budget for commission members and alternates to attend. Is that a Saturday? That's a Saturday, yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going, Sam? I probably will be this yeah, year. That's good. Uh, yeah. I've been for a I couple of years. I can't make it this year. Again. Maybe I mean, I can. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. Depends on what my Yeah, is. Sam always likes company. <laughs> mm -hmm. First year I went, Kristen and Sam were there. Mm -hmm. Okay, the uh, just had a, you know, the other announcements is the LRA w, uh, LRWA, the Lamprey River Watershed Association annual meeting right now is tentatively planned for November 8th. That's always a Friday? That's a Thursday. Oh, it's a Thursday. I won't be there this year. Thursday. Does it have a location yet? Uh, it'll probably be at the uh, Grange Hall in Lee again. That's what they're looking okay. at. Okay, I'll, I'll just... It pencil it in because it could change. Okay. Okay. Uh, normally, I've had it in October, the last weekend, last Thursday in October, but uh, I guess there's some conflicts. Are you here for the Conservation Commission? Is this what this is? Yes. yes. Thank you. Thank Our meeting is being televised, so just be aware of the camera. have two other guests now, at, uh, Eleanor and Dana Russell. Yeah, Welcome. Res residents. Uh, okay. Uh, next on my agenda is the Trails Committee report. Okay. Well, we had uh, a meeting just uh, last Thursday, and there were six people in attendance. We, uh, kind of we had thought we would have a... Um, guest speaker, but uh, that's been moved to October. We um, wanted to hear from Donna Danis and Matt, the uh, project manager for the Marston uh, property, because they're going to have trails there. So I'm uh, hoping that at our October meeting, we'll be able to actually look at the plans and talk with them. 
about you know what they're going to do, when they're going to do it, and what kind of help the uh, trails committee can provide. So um, that's October. The next, that's yeah. That's going to be October fourth, mm -hmm. Thursday, October fourth at six thirty in the same room. Uh, mm -hmm. So what we did talk about were kind of what our pri uh, priorities are going to be going forward for the fall. We didn't really get a lot of work days in. We did some reconnaissance work early in the summer, but it just got so hot mm -hmm. <laughs> and people ended up being very busy. A lot of the people on the trails committee have, you know, their busy time at work is the summer because they're doing field work. Mm -hmm. This is John, Crystal, and uh, Kristen and, and, mm -hmm. and others are out all summer long, mm -hmm. really. Uh, very, very busy. So we didn't do a lot of uh, building, but we got a lot of, you know, administrative work done. And our next steps, we're going to focus this fall on the Ken, uh, William Kennard Forest. Well, Celia had um, drawn out, and it's on the Google Drive, she had drawn out some possible loops and also places to visit. Um, on that property so we're looking at that and I think we'll have a work day probably um, probably in October but there might be a preliminary one before that to actually work on um, marking those boundaries we um, there's a lot of species that we observed on that yeah have property. you put together a list of the species by no, any chance I could if you mm -hmm. could Put together what you remember mm -hmm. seeing on there that would be fantastic that particular property um, has a main trail that goes up through and it has some you know water drainage issues so one of the things we're looking at is you know how to put water bars in and where to put them in and also there's a culvert that it's very old and you know has holes in it we're wondering if uh, the town can possibly uh, replace that culvert. Oh, where it curves. Before yes. It curves. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. We possibly take a look at that and see if there's a way to have the town replace that now that it is town property. Uh, and we will also try to sign that this summer. So we have plans for a loop trail there and and some signage and some drainage for this fall. We also, you know, will continue working on what we call the Marsh Woods property which is the Miriam Daggett and the Tasker parcels. Um, Celia has marked a new kind of connector between the two properties. So we're gonna take a look at that uh, this fall and also do some things like more brush cutting and uh, probably some removal of both trash, which the recycling center is gonna help us with, and removal of invasives. So we're making progress. We haven't made any progress on the compatible use authorization, however. So mm, we'll take another stab at that. Mark West has been, uh, you know, this is his busy season too. So we can't really finalize trails and mark anything uh, until we get that. Winter's a good time for cutting. Yeah, winter's a good time. I mean, everybody's right. actually very excited about doing fall and winter work. Uh -huh. Yeah, no bugs. All right. No bugs. No bugs. Still ticks. Mm -hmm. Still ticks. Yeah. So, anyway, I think we'll be a lot more productive in the months to come than we were able to be this summer. And that, I think that's a lesson to be learned, too. Is I had this vision when I started the committee that we would do a lot of work in the summer. And that ended up <laughs> being the time that was least that possible hot. to yeah. do the work. So we're going to try to move ahead with that. Um, and just realize that our cycle is probably going to be different than we originally <laughs> thought it would be. Um, you have a lot of members. You did great recruitment. People are coming back all the time. So, well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> to be a little gentle on yourself. That's all. <laughs> well, we, we I have, think you are productive. We have accomplished a few <laughs> right. things. Yeah. And Dawn and I will <laughs> be working together on the website. Um, I do have a request for reimbursement for some materials. When we were at the meeting, um, we I talked to people about what do we need for some of the, the tools that um, will help us to move forward with the projects. And uh, John um, thought we should have a 300-foot tape measure, you know, on a roll. 
So I, w I went out and bought one. It was only $29.99 at Ace, and I used a $5 personal coupon. So, um, so we got that for $25. And I also bought seven rolls of flagging tape which we need for all of our projects. So um, the total amount that I'm requesting for reimbursement is 3806 if the Conservation Commission is willing to uh, is willing to uh, reimburse me for that. I make a motion that we reimburse Liz for 3806. 3806 for I'll trails work. Our second. So we made a move and a second that we reimbursed uh, was $38.06. Six cents. Six cents. Uh, for the uh, 300 foot tape and, uh, and the flagging tape for the trails committee. Uh, is there any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Anybody abstain? I just have it. Okay, thank you very much. And shall I submit that to you, Sam? Yeah, or I get, yeah I, I'm sure I have <laughs> more, uh, Hopefully, I've got some more forms out in there. Okay, I've got the original and a copy of it, so okay. let me know which you would rather have then. So. They probably, well, I don't know, either one. Okay, so uh, <coughs> if anybody in the Conservation Commission needs that equipment for any other projects, whether it's for, you know, the monitoring that we're doing or wetlands delineation, et cetera, we have that. Mm -hmm. so. Are you going to keep that? On um, I'll keep it for place? for the immediate future, but I might uh, have John keep it after that. Um, we can talk. Do you have a preference? No, I but I think I think at some point it should be labeled with um, Sharpie. Yes. On property. Uh, I will definitely yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. and uh, I and thought so maybe I should leave it with John at least for the fall because he plans to use it to um, go out with. Crystal and probably Celia to mark the boundaries yes. on the kind of property he had yeah. specifically requested that. Okay. Yeah. That's about it for now. That's it. Okay. Uh, as far as uh, the bear paw report, uh, I got two. Sam, do you want to just make note of my arrival? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Cheryl Smith uh, just arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <coughs> Okay, the, uh, we got an invitation to the Bear Paw Regional Greenways Open House Saturday, September 22nd from 7 to 9 p.m. at 12 Lookout Point Road in Northwood. This is the, it's usually the, uh, I think it's the major donor um, reception. Uh, it says, as a thank you for your exceptional support of the Bear Paw Mission, the Board of Directors is hosting a reception with special cakes, desserts, and special and sparkling beverages. Uh, if anybody needs directions, they're on the, mm -hmm. on the back. So that's it. by invitation only? And, and well, the commission members received an invitation? Yeah, right. Okay. And what time is that? 7 uh, to 9. 7 to 9. Okay, I missed that. Thank you. And PM, uh, right? How do, yeah. we, uh, how, does, how do people RSVP for that? Through you? To, to, uh, uh, to uh, the, the Bear Paw number 463-9400 or email to info at Bear Paw. Okay, so bear contact Bear the end. dash paw dot org. Sam, what's the date? September 22nd. Second. Saturday. This is on the, well, you go out, um, Genesis Pond Road in Northwood, and take a couple, take a right onto Long Pond Road, and one mile to Lookout Point Road on the left. Or Google it. Google it. And that's that. So what's the number? You want to pass that around? Yeah, I was just looking this. Oh, 12 Lookout Point Road. I thought I saw the address. And the other thing is the Bear Paw Office has officially moved. To uh, Sun Cook Business Park in Allenstown, they're keeping the same PO box number and the same telephone number. Uh, not the only thing that changes the location, because the building that we're in is going to be torn down. 
Uh, I just uh, was at a Lamper River Watershed Association uh, meeting, and uh, I guess the... Uh, was that today, Sam? Yeah, it was today. Uh, and... Uh, Like I say, the tentative was looking at the annual meeting being November 8th, probably at the Grange Hall in Lee on um, Little Little Hook Road, I think it is. They'd probably send out an email once they have Yeah, that. yeah, and they're working on a newsletter, so that'll be going out to anybody that they have an address for. Um, they had a water quality monitoring update and talked about that. And the Raymond Triathlon, I guess, uh, went over pretty well. We had about 34 entries. Uh, about six to eight of them were actually relay teams where, you know, one person would do the, the biking, one would do the running, and one would do the, the paddling. So mm -hmm. It's a lot to coordinate. Yeah. Roads and, yeah. And that's about it on that. Uh, yeah. Now, we have some leftover business from last year. We want to get into that first before we... Um, did you want to go over the minutes to refresh what the business might be? We can do you that. you want to do that? We can do that. <clears throat> specific you wanted to okay. well, you just here to observe us <laughs> okay so um, we have August 13th but I only have three copies I, I have my own you have your own Liz do you have a copy to look at of the minutes yes yes okay I read these I read these yeah. Yeah, so August yeah. 28. yeah, Sam had had a couple of edits. They okay, sent back to me. Yeah. Yeah. This one over here. <coughs> Should be a, a K. So capital K. Couple yeah. capitals. Did Sam already get that? No, yeah. no Dan Curran. And then me. And Kristen Lamb. You know, I swear my computer doesn't put a capital L on your name. <laughs> <laughs> Little, little, little L's and big L's <laughs> look the same <laughs> on the computer. And then, uh, no, I know that I hit the, the shift button. And then down here, uh, uh, Kern and Amaral left. Yeah, Kern, Kern and Amaral left at about 7.30. Do you want to say anything about that Dan introduced Katrina to us? as Because we hadn't met her before, right? Yeah, probably, you probably haven't, yeah. Just came on board. She's the new. Uh, what well, would that be in here? The new land protection stewardship specialist. She's named under the guests. Yeah. Right. So I can just in, in put insert on um, her title. Dan Kern introduced. Um, this new land protection and stewardship mm -hmm. yeah. assistant specialist. Blah, 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 I can do that. <laughs> um, also, one other thing in that, that paragraph. So um, the next to last, last sentence where you said, Kern will send electronic copies. All right, Liz, you have to do that again for me. Hey. Hi, Charlene. Hi. Hi. If I could squirrel a couple minutes from your meeting, I'd appreciate it. Okay, mm -hmm. like right now, we have to talk to the boss. Okay, whenever. Hold on, I have to make, make all these little side notes. Um, 7, 24. Okay. May so I just finish making that one point? Yeah, go ahead. Um, no, tell me again what you were saying. I was probably... Yeah, I didn't divert it. really get it out. So it says Kern will send electronic copies to Mooney. 
and and then you said, and I will forward to. <laughs> How about, how about who will and, forward? And to? she will. Or, good, good or catch. Mooney, who will forward <laughs> them to <laughs> permission. That's really Members funny. Or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't seen you do that before in the notes. Anybody have anything else? That they, or are they still looking? Um, I did change on um, compatible use authorization oh, oh, okay. on for the CUA. I, yeah. That's not in my head yet. Thank so you. yeah, you. have a good night. Thank you. Yeah. Where, where is that, Sue? Uh, on the back the, page. The Carol's committee uh, uh, report. It's the last um, sentence in the okay, committee gotcha. report. It should be authorization, not application. Is that I spelled die bond correctly in that paragraph? The next line up. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were doing that. D I B O N D. We just got this, so I haven't seen, haven't read through it. Fourth line from the bottom. I, think. I don't like that sentence. The commission will then be able to. Yeah, it's with a capital D. For the D. Capital which D. Which is a combination. I should put that in. Change that sentence. And CUA is compatible use authorization. Yeah, yeah. did yes. that already. Yeah. Oh, you got that. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I thought it was the Shoreland Protection Act, not the Shoreland Water Quality Protection Act. Is that right? They keep it changing changed. the it's names. Cha it's been changed. changed. That's what the new name is. Oh, two okay. years ago. Okay. Well. They haven't corrected old documents. They yes. just okay. Mm -hmm. So, got it. Interesting. We had a speaker at the PLIA meeting this year who talked about it, but he just kept calling it the Shoreland Protection Act. Yes, but I guess that, that's the old. working name. And it goes by its short name to SWQPA, which is really kind of awkward. Correct on um, October annual meeting under Lamprey River Watershed Association. Well, that the was meeting needs to be cap oh. capitalized. Mm. October annual meeting oh. because it's a formal event. specific actions were outlined needs to be under the first correspondence. Six lines down. Outlines to outlined. Uh, Nottingham Road in Epping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it becomes Berry Road in Nottingham. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. I think it's old Nottingham Road, though, but that was the address that was given on the, on the form. You know, I bet it is old Nottingham Road. Yeah, it says that from the one tw on the 125 sign. Unless there's another one that's not old. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was the address given on the DES oh, all right. correspondence. Okay. Should I just put SIC in parentheses? Uh, you can just leave it. Okay. 
I don't think that's what the document critical. says. Uh, what? I, I don't think it's that critical. Okay. Thing. That's what the ES says. Hmm. That's where we put one of our turtle signs too, because there's so much activity on Barry Road. Um, I didn't see any. There are two on. Yeah, whoever that goes through there. Have a good night, Not on Barry Road. Two on Jeanette. Oh, terrible getting old. <laughs> Rollinsbrook? Rollinsbrook. Oh, Rollinsbrook. There's two on Rollins, Rollins Road. There's two on Rollins Road. Oh, Rollins Road is the one I'm thinking of. But there is one on Barry. Yeah, I've seen the one on Barry. Mm -hmm. where, where is it? Is I, do I just drive by and not notice it? Right. It says you're heading north on Barry. Derail it, but it's right at the corner of um, the town line. Before it. It, it, it could be an Epping right before the town line. It's close. Where, where the road changes to dirt, it's Nottingham. It might was asphalted. It might be in Epping, yeah. the sign. Because the it's right in that area. Was, yeah. It's so wrong. There's one, there's one right here before Core Farm, or right here, that covers Barry, and then from the other side, we did this so that that whole track was covered. I'll have to check them. Because Bob and I drove down Rollins Road. Rollins Road, and we saw two oh, on there. Yeah, old Rollins Road, and then we went straight rather than doing this, the, the old way, and mm -hmm. we saw two signs. Yeah. Hmm. But I don't think we're seeing one there. Oh, we sat with them. Uh, huh? Any, any further? Yeah. Okay. Errors, omissions, or corrections to be made? Okay. And we will make a motion that we I'll accept. Make a motion to accept the minutes as uh, revised by this group. A second. A second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Anybody abstain? And then we've got Tom. Should be what? Charlie. Mm -hmm. The one for the 27th, I think? Yeah. Do you, you want to? took the liberty of identifying. Do you want to jump in first? Yeah. Can we let right. Charlene jump in? Oh, yes, yeah, Charlene. <laughs> I guess she was here. <laughs> She's so quiet. You can have a patient. Thanks. Come on in. Charlene Anderson. What it's like now. Um, so I just want to touch base with with you folks. Just touch base with the select board um, and um, about an opportunity I just learned about today. So Antioch uh, University, their environmental um, studies department, they're looking for projects for their capstone for their graduate um, students and. Um, uh, I think m municipalities can apply for the project, um, but they're looking for projects, you know, that have to do with, you know, natural resources or some kind of um, environmental impact. And I thought um, it may be a good project for us to uh, start to gather uh, data and information on where we have uh, invasive species um, along our town roads, where we have runoff challenges, um, some of the things that we've identified in our master plan and also that this, this committee has brought up um, as far as concerns. So um, the proposals are due on the 28th. Our next select board meeting is the 24th. Um, I told the board I would take the lead, um, draft up um, a proposal to submit and they'll review it 
Um, but I wanted to touch base with you folks because I think that this committee would also be, um, you know, involved in helping the the students. So cool. the um, proposals are due the 28th. Um, once they're selected in the fall, they'll work with the um, the lead, which would be me. But I appreciate your help as well. Um, to develop a scope of work and then the work would run from January to April which you know there's some kind of challenges as far as the roads will be covered with snow um, but I think that there still would be you know work that could be done on runoffs and collecting data so I think we would just have to somehow develop the scope of work to reflect that um, but um, so I wanted to communicate that to you to um, you know, just to um, to get your your initial feedback on or thoughts on this and uh, what your like thumbs I, up, thumbs I, down. I think at that social. time, after plowing in winter and stuff, you can certainly see where there's issues with plowing and where they're plowing into and where the runoff is going from the plowing and stuff like that. Yeah, we've also talks about the use and or, or overuse of sand and salt and they'd be able to collect so it, that data it, too and if it the truly does time of the year might lend itself more to that rather than some of the invasive species you have to see invasive species at that time yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. did not we yeah I was gonna say not is there any op opportunity to possibly shift the time frame Probably goes by when. I think it goes by when their, cl their class projects are running and stuff. So I mean, we could we could build it so that it's the the sand salt stuff, and then if this goes to the April, I, th I would imagine they're finishing up the project in April. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, maybe the knotweed wouldn't, but but the drainage or culverts, the drainage, but the yeah. culvert yeah. Work culverts would be very the important. Drainage. Mm -hmm. Do you think the student will be able to? do mapping work or would they work with like I know Chris Sterndale has now ArcGIS on his computer would it be something where yeah I mean I think could work with him to map it again this is like top of my head today just kind of thinking it but I'm thinking if we could start to gather GIS data on kind of um, so what I was thinking is if they could gather GIS data and then also in assessing them start to help prioritize the ones mm -hmm. that are most concerning um, and and we kind of you know I, I look at this as maybe data gathering to help us with kind of the long-term plan on um, on you know Road on the roads and, and where yeah. there are some challenges and some concerns um, and if we can get a body of students doing this then you know I mean this is it, it's it's you know it's just kind of a little check in the kind of the bigger picture of the roads and trying to uh, trying to address a lot of the issues that we have with the roads and if so do they um, are they collecting data or would they present like other case studies or models of right, like what <laughs> towns or areas are doing to prevent Probably. this erosion runoff or sand going directly into the river like right. I think of Macrillis where the bridge is you know you're collecting and like all that sand there's nothing to stop we have nothing on that road to stop all the sand from going right into the North River yeah. right. all that work on, on Priest Priest Road I know they've done some work lately but some of it's successful and some of it has yeah. not worked yeah, at was, all yeah, yeah. and so it was you know, that's a problem there. the latest thing they did mm -hmm. on Priest Road yeah. the water just went right around the area they built yeah. I think April would show flooding because it would be. Yeah, you know, I mean, we could maybe we uh, have flooding in, yeah. you know, right March. I mean, it all depends upon how the winter goes. But yeah, I mean, you can get heavy rains, you get flooding. You can also get, you know, just in terms of wh where the, the sand buildup is from plowing and stuff like that, and where that ends up. But I think probably shifting the project, they probably can't because they, I'm sure no. they're done with school in May. But. Could we oh, have a, one student account. work on the, the drainage and salt sanding issues in, for January to April and then have a second project that would be in the fall, get a second student in to do the invasives? Because I think they might mapping only that in capstone the invasives. In the if it's spring. capstone, it's probably senior year before they graduate. And it's usually a spring, the spring semester. But who knows if cooperative extension spring. or... Yeah. Someone else could. So yeah. I, I think if you if you folks if this sounds good um, if you know if I draft this up if um, 
if I send you a draft, would you be willing to look at it in, um, um, in time if, if I try to get it to you? What's today's date? Ten. Ten. Um, do we have to do it collectively as a commission, or can we just offer our opinions? You can offer your opinions. I'm thinking. I'm thinking if I can get your feedback before um, I send it to the select board, be, just because I think you'll think of some things that um, I won't have thought of. Charlie, and we created that document too um, about salt and sand concerns, where we had pulled data and everything like four years ago. So you could, you might even be able to pull. Yeah, I can send you that. Can well. you send me that? Mm -hmm. That'd be great. Yep. And then there's the the other one about the letter that went to the BOS for the roads issue, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the planning which board did the same thing. Which I don't think did the BOS ever I think get that. I might <laughs> have that. So I think I might have that. Because um, initially I so think I it just went that. to Chris, and then we had mentioned that anything that Sam sends to the BOS should go to Chris and to Donna. And if, if you can send me that, what is it, the salt and sand? Yeah, we it was when we were did? advocating for John to go to Snow Pro. Yeah. And explore um, brine or yeah. alternatives. Okay. So, Kristen, could you do us a favor and just um, CC the rest of us yeah. on that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That'd be good. I know and, we have it somewhere. And I think, too, I mean, if, if there are top of mind areas that you guys know of, um, that are, are of concerns, we could focus it too on yeah. kind of those as well, like culverts or runoff around rivers, or really, or around wetlands. And yeah, well, I think water mm -hmm. is the biggest issue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, we've got a lot of that <laughs> <laughs> above and below. I think we can easily come up with a problem area. Would you like? Yeah. Would you like a formal endorsement from the commission now? No, no, I don't need that. Okay, All right. no, no, I, I got the okay for from the. It's like we to put together a, a draft, draft up a proposal to send to them. And, you know, I mean, there's no guarantee that if we put together a proposal that will get selected. Um, but um, I think everybody agrees that if we can start to get some data collection. So, you know, maybe we, maybe we narrow it down um, and we don't do the um, invasives. Um, maybe we focus it on the sand salt runoff kind of thing. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be good if you could basically. check check with them and just find out if that time slot is the only. Yeah, time I'm going to call them too and see if municipalities can apply. <laughs> yeah, because it, it doesn't say they can't, but it doesn't say they can. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. cool beans. All right. Thank don't you. go run off. Don't run off. Run off. Huh? Don't run off. Um, <laughs> Friday, I was coming it, home. Did you get it, any information about what? Um, Japanese not today? Said. Did you have a meeting tonight? Yes. Select board? Yes. Did, did Chris proffer any information on the cutting of Japanese knotweed along the Krillis Road? With no, but photos? I brought it up on Freeman Hall Road. Well, I took pictures, and Dawn let me in on Friday. She downloaded the photos, which I sent to you guys late this afternoon after right. office hours, yeah. because I graciously wanted to give the select board and the select board office the opportunity to move forward with this issue. But in the road cutting, the the fellow that was running the machine cut down the knotweed. Yeah, cut it down on Freeman Hall too, and that's why that's why when I saw yeah, this I think it came fresh mm -hmm. to yeah, for oh yeah, I didn't even know that. Yeah, no it it is. Oh, it's it's, it's, it's yeah, a finable offense from yeah. Department yeah. of Agriculture. And they had received Doug Saigon told the Board of Selectmen two that two years ago. Two years ago. So the message is not we getting have a road out agent right now. No, we do not. We cannot and, find it. And all it really takes is just a call from anybody to DES, and the town could be fined for doing that. All right. Well, until they rectify the situation, it's so you, an ongoing fine. So you right. sent the stuff to Dawn. I, I sent it to Dawn. She sent it to Chris on Friday. Can you resend it to me? Oh yeah. Well, I sent photo, the photos to everybody this afternoon. Uh, no, but not to you. Well, the, I'm not everybody. <laughs> I mean, everybody on everybody the commission. commission has it, but I don't think the select board does, right? Yeah. Do you, can you pull it but, up? But if you if you sent it to to Chris, again, if it doesn't go to the chair of the select board, there's not a hundred percent guarantee it goes from Chris to the select board in a timely manner. I understand. Manner. 
I understand. But Dawn was very receptive when she called up the police and said, tell the fellow to stop mowing and we need to take care of this issue and blah, blah, blah. So when and I talked to the roads, I saw to the Freeman Hall. I saw Freeman us. Hall and I so called could be other Chris and said, town. do not have them come down Gollin Road because mm -hmm. the not weed is in full, full bloom. bloom. Exactly. Right. Well, it doesn't it's matter. Like crazy. The, yeah, the I know. I know. But it it's like it's garden. like even worse. And 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 that's I mean that's why. But at this point, it's very okay, healthy. Not we came every place you look this year because of the rainfall we've had, yeah. and it's very easily recognizable now because it is in bloom. Yeah. There are some places over in 43 in Northwood and Deerfield where it looks like. I don't know if they've sprayed it or something. I think something. the state's doing that. They've yeah, cut it and sprayed it. Yeah, it's uh, good. They, they've done that on roof floor, floor too. Yeah, you could you'd see, you know, the front part, uh, you know, facing the forward, the road is, looks like it's dying out, mm -hmm. and then there's full bloom behind it. Mm -hmm. Doug, Doug has gone around with a couple different products around the state that he's been trying for mm -hmm. the last several years. He's the last trying. time I talked with him, he said that unfortunately they're finding now that some of it is actually coming back. Oh, it's coming back on what, they've tr after they've sprayed it. They thought that it was penetrating to the root system, but mm -hmm. yeah, they have to. Probably it's so tenacious it. that it's. It is. I, know. I remember when Ann. This is way back when Ann Friend hired a company to get rid of it on her property, and it did kill it for that season. And maybe it was slow to come back the next season, but. The, what they used, and they applied whatever herbicide twice. Um, it killed a couple trees nearby as well. Ooh. It was so potent. Mm -hmm. um, but then the, the knotweed, after the next year, started coming back again. Mm -hmm. So really, it, it's really difficult to kill the stuff. What are they spraying? I, yeah, I, I, don't, don't yeah, I don't know what they're I, doing. I don't remember what Doug said. Up in, it's not up Roundup. Up in Portland, yeah. they, got no. the, they got goats eating it. Yeah, you need a lot of goats. Yeah, and my <laughs> sheep won't say touch it. Hall? I have it up at they cut on Sedgwick. Hall. We have it, and they won't touch it. I guess if I got them there early on, like animals are funny about when, new. like if it's new and fresh in the Tender. spring. Yeah, but after it's going up, they won't even touch the leaves. They want nothing to do with it. But even if they they're chewing it, but they're, they're but they're not getting into the root system, and that's no. where you right. need it's to get it. Come. They would have to keep keep it's at just it. Just mowing it like. Yeah. Right. Yeah, and Freeman Hall right by the North River. There was a whole bunch. It's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was at, I was at the uh, Trappers Rendezvous a couple of weeks ago, and apparently the some of the bees like the the nectar from the oh, yeah. knotweed. Well, that's why that's originally why it came was the beekeepers. That is how knotweed came over here. Oh, really? Here, I didn't know that. Is because it was known for the flowers, and they thought it would attract, or, you know, keep more bees going and. That's what I read about how knotweed originally came. I guess over. it has really good medicinal properties to good it. Good for lime. I heard that too. Yeah. New England wildflowers. But you don't want it along the roadside because that stuff's got salt spray. But you make knotweed pie. You can eat the right. shoots. Like bamboo shoots. Then I think we all better get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have plenty get of the a goats crop out there, there too. So if I forwarded the photos to you. Yes, you, please. Okay. It'll yes, be in please. two different emails because they, they're big. Yes, please. Yeah, and so you, my, you know that my mailbox was full this afternoon, so. I sent them to your UNH. Okay, yeah, I, I left probably before they got there. Yeah, there's one thing that bounced back. It was just a, an email to, um, who's the guy over at Stratford Regional Planning? Kyle? Kyle, yeah. Mm -hmm. That, that was the one that bounced back. Okay, game plan is you're going to send me mm -hmm. the salt stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. And can someone just send me the, the stuff about the runoff stuff? Can you send me that too? Just so I don't have to go the dig road. it in my culvert runoff thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <coughs> and then you want you all want to take a look at the draft? Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you, folks. Thanks. Thank That's really cool. That sounds Very good. good. Mm -hmm. Are you? Is the BOS done? Yes. Whatever the other committee was I was on. 
Oh, oh yeah. It was for the um, the Great Bay, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I think you know this particular um, appointment is more critical. So is he on the library? No, advi uh, not on the advisory committee on, on the Watershed Association. Sam is on chair of that. But for the advisory committee, Nottingham has something like 17% or 20% of the watershed, and we have zero representation on the we, advisory committee for reviewing applications. We have been collaborating this year, though, with the LRAC and Suzanne. So that would be well, great. Before I moved out of, out of town, they started having meetings on the evening I had to teach, so I had to get off. Wasn't Mike Rousseau on, <clears throat> on that with you, too, at one point? He, he was on it for a while. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, they're, they're meeting tomorrow night. I don't, I'm not sure where, because they normally meet in the uh, Lee Safety Complex. Exactly. They don't meet on Wednesdays? No, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, usually right after the, you know, the day after the Lamprey River Watershed Association meeting. Okay. Okay. Back to minutes? Um, yeah. Uh, somewhere. August 27th. Do you have August 27th? No, thank you. I think we should say open the meeting at 8 o'clock a.m. Oh, yeah, a.m. Yeah. We don't generally meet that early <laughs> or in the morning. Yeah, in fact, right? I just looked at that and I said, why did we meet so late? Poor Kristen's <laughs> last name needs to be capitalized. Yeah, yeah there it goes again. And, and the I word know. and has an extra S in it right before your name. Oh, said. yeah. Did you tell I was getting tired? <laughs> That's okay. We're delighted that you got this down on paper. So this is great. In the next paragraph, Fremont only has one E. Probably list rather than list with an S rather than listed. Consolidated list of water bodies that. List. Water towards. bodies two words or one? That lists. You're changing that to consolidated lists of water bodies. No, that that's a lists. that's a title. Okay. But keep on going in that sentence. That, that listed. listed. I'm going to change that to L I S T S. That lists. And maybe towns can be small. Yeah, towns can be small. Is water bodies one word Oops. or two words? Um, the water bodies is part of the title. It's supposed to be two words, but this is the way the title went. Okay. I probably should um, okay. put that in quotes because it's a it's a document. Or I tell. So it starts at New Hampshire and ends at water bodies. Mm -hmm. That document. For mm, it's. And the buffer size each has adopted for its waterways. Since you're talking singular for each. Or has adopted for its waterways. Each and town. The buffer size each, each town with has its adopted waterways. for its. Okay. And names of water bodies, even lowercase water bodies in that little sentence there. It says names oh, of yeah. water names of water bodies were low. No uh, comma after gassed. I did it and one in, after historical. Society. I did that and my um, tools thing took it out. Even if you put another one after historical society? I, I only had the one uh, No, but I'm saying if you put one uh, Leanne Gast, comma, who was a member of the Historical Society, comma. comma that, yeah. He asked to review the history of the meeting. And then we talk about the state's Shoreland Protection Act. 
Where are we now? Can I capitalize that and put the full name in? Where are we? It's yeah, what the paragraph that starts with end goal. Oh, end goal. Yeah, I can put in the formal, okay. formal title. And take out the comma after connected. Say that again, Liz, I'm sorry. Uh, where it says, Lamb suggested that the commission's Facebook page for outreach, indicating that all waters are connected above and below gotcha. ground. Okay. You don't need the comma up before or above. Right. The it's, it's there. Mm -hmm. Get rid of it. Oh, get rid of yeah. it. Yeah. Deadlines for the um, That someone needs to inquire, I, I sent an email to Don this afternoon. <clears throat> and asking about deadlines for legal review and public hearings. Thanks, I, I had to ask Chris about that, too, and he said he, he didn't have the actual that information date at, at that time, so. He knew it was gonna be sometime in December. But yeah, yeah, well, January or, or, or for January, yeah, the so, hearings. Yeah. For warrants? It usually, yeah. it usually comes in January, I think. Yeah, but right. there's so but, many. But that's a deadline. Yeah. It's a deadline said, that has to be done by a certain date. He's, he's suggested using, going through the uh, uh, the planning board uh, so that mm -hmm. uh, if there was a petition article, they, that would have to be in there. Your schedule? Maybe we should say the draft should be sent to commission members by October 12th for the meeting on the 15th. Should be sent to commission members by October 12th for the meeting on the 15th. Just okay. So people have time to review it. So I, um, so cross out to Completed. commission members after October 12th? I just meant move by October 12th to after commission members. So it would read the draft should be sent to commission members by October 12th sent. for the meeting on the 15th. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. To the planning board. Yeah. For its review, or one of those. Its review, or just have a for for review. For review, yeah. There you go. Does town administrator have to be capitalized? No. You had town administrator capitalized earlier. That's what Kristen was just asking. And then lowercase later. So it should be the same in both cases. Where was it before? Was it in another At the document? end of the... No, no, no. Where was it not before? Last, last line of that I've got this one right one. here. Yep. Well, do you prefer caps or do you want no caps? I don't care. As long as it's the same in both places. So where was it? Probably cap. Cap, cap. It. Okay, that's easier because I can't. I don't know what the other one is. The other one is in at the last line that starts with demerit, up on the demerit will top check paragraph. About money. Oh, gotcha. Yep. And then conservation easement CE project Q seven should be in bold. <clears throat> Oh, that's not right. At nine, um, was it nine ten? He arrived at nine o'clock, but he didn't start until nine ten. Until nine ten. Yeah, nine ten. Um, Sam was still there. Sam was still there. I don't know where you are. It says at 910. 
Mr. Longy reviewed the CE project with Katowski and Lamb. But because we no, but he was talking to you because too. we because hadn't, we hadn't right. been in on the right because Sam and I had been in okay. on, the, on the previous things. All right, got it. Yeah, we were already in the loop. Is time frame one word or two? I was looking at the last I line. I usually make it one word. One word. Okay. Should we say in here that this, we were discussing a fundraising effort because this, putting funds towards this will um, essentially deplete our conservation fund? Mm hmm. To do that. So, not to completely. So, as not to completely deplete. Yeah. Uh, there's town administrator again. We can make that capped. Mm -hmm. Lamb will ask the town the administrator. Money's in, in the conservation funds. So can you read that back again, Sue? Um, there was a brief discussion on the possibility of conducting a fundraising effort, so not to completely deplete the monies in the conservation fund. <clears throat> um, with this project, how's that? Where was town? I got it. Got it. TK. Looks great, too. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Nice work, so. Thank you. Make a motion to accept the August 27th minutes as edited by this group. I second. Seconded. Yep. Any, fur any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? And we abstain. Six aye. of us, one <coughs> about the project seven yeah yeah we're waiting on him okay. and, and, and the owners I did talk to uh, town administrator and uh, about the time frames and also about uh, you know uh, the money you uh, well, for mapping I think was that we might need for okay and they said He'd find it somewhere here, but if we didn't have it in our budget. Sam, has um, any of the money been set aside from Earth Day? Do you know whether an account was ever set up? I don't know. I'm wondering about that. Yeah. Also, uh, about 500 or 550 or something. Courtney was going to take care of that for us. She was, and I haven't heard from her. She said she would take care of it with Chris, but all right. Well, Maybe if you're talking to Chris, if you wouldn't mind asking him about that also. If you could ask him about the Kennard closing. <laughs> Was that a date? Yeah, the date, uh, because I guess the papers have been with Chris for a long time. That's what Dan said at the last meeting. Yes. For a while, he said. Okay, yeah. Not uh, a long apparently time. Apparently, I, I, uh, Chris asked me about those, and I, I don't think he has misplaced them or not, because he's, uh, he, he was looking for the final... You want me, do you want me to forward what we got, what I got today from Dan? Sure, it must. To, uh, to forward it to Chris. I think he, I think he got it. He got a copy too. Think, um, oh, I'll, I'll have to check the email to see if he was on this. I was looking at one of my emails. <coughs> I saw that on there. Right, I was gonna go. Start, I was gonna start looking through them, and I just, it was just 
We're going to proceed on with trails according to the language that's in there, assuming mm -hmm. that that's all going to remain the Yeah, it'd same. be good to have the closing done, though, so that that becomes official yeah. before anything's done with trails. Right. So I would really be. like that to happen. Okay, put signage up or right, right, right. Mm -hmm. So the money for mapping was that discussion that we had with um, um, Kyle about uh, mapping for for uh, river protection. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Chris said that if we if we we didn't have it in the budget, we, we should be able to find a okay thank a you. source. Did you want to look at regs that we've gotten from area towns on river protection? Or do you want pe people to have the opportunity to review them and then set up a meeting yeah, to craft I'll, something? I'll take time to review them All right. It's, it's late yeah, and people are kind anything. of pooped yeah. out. <coughs> huh? I haven't read anything. Yeah. I just checked my email. But I think that will probably be I'll send a link for Deerfield as well. I have things printed out. but. Correspondence. Uh, this came in a little while ago. Uh, the Ford Stewardship Plan for the Mendham Pines Woodlands. Yeah, that was pretty extensive. <laughs> it's a big document. So that's on the Mendham easement, that? Yeah, the, 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 yeah. This, of course, it includes both the property in Nottingham and the property in Barrington. When they talk about the forest name, they only mention the town of Barrington. Huh. But, Interesting. But they. Yeah, Don. <coughs> that that got forwarded to all of us. I don't think I've seen it. What's that? I know I printed it. I printed Pine Woodlands. I think I've seen this, but I don't think I don't remember. Yeah, I, I think I don't. No, it, it was up, an email. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it came in email. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I remember this now. Yeah, oh. thank you. I think that I asked right. him to send a formal copy so we could put it in our it. files. Everybody, I'll just take a quick glance and then I'll look for it in my email. Apparently, we did get this, which is great. I think it was forwarded from Dawn. Okay, the other piece of correspondence is the uh, the newsletter of the New Hampshire DES Drinking Water and Ground Bureau, Ground Water Bureau. Supply lines with the source, uh, the summer summer edition. The title, the front uh, articles for the love of water. And then they got the calendar of events, <coughs> yep, July thanks. through December. And you can subscribe to that by email too if you're interested. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which I. Do you subscribe to it? Okay, and that's all I have for correspondence. Hmm. Um, did you want us to um, look at calendars to see if we could work on that model ordinance yeah. or our draft ordinance? Sure. I, I'm just really concerned with deadlines keeping up. Yeah. Sometimes when we're a little fresher. Cheryl, do you think, is he putting together a different one for the Nottingham Park? Because this just really... No, I, I think it includes everything, but it's, most it, most of the bit, most, of, it's most of the work is going to be in the Barrington side. Total for the parcels, all being in. I don't think they're doing much. I just there. scanned it. I didn't spend a lot of time <coughs> on it. In all honesty, yeah. The reason I asked that was because for the Miriam um, Daggett and Pasker properties, we got two separate reports, even oh. though they're adjacent to each other. And I wondered whether maybe he was doing something I don't know. like that—a Nottingham report and a Barrington report. Doesn't look like okay. it. Okay. Um, I'm not going to be av be available from the 18th to the 26th of September. Monday the 17th is good. And then we're into October. Yeah, I, I can't do the 27th. I can't do the 17th. I can't do the 17th. Okay. How about um, the beginning of October, anytime. The 25th? Oh, you're going to be away then? I'm going to be away from the 19th to the 26th. You're probably not going to want to do it on the 27th. Correct. 
I won't be around. But just but the following week. Our uh, next meeting is the eighth. No, it's the fifteenth. Fifteenth. So we want to get this is all drafted right. to everybody by the twelfth. So I would suggest sometime that first week in October. Not the fourth. I can't do it that week. I've got I've got guests visiting, and I will be. I'm tied up. You know, the first part of it. <coughs> Well, the first part of that week? Yeah, you know, like the, the first, well, I, actually, I could do Monday evening. Are you talking about the first? On the first? Yeah. But Liz has guests. I, yeah. And then I mean, you have the Trails Committee, too. I have the Trails Committee. I could do it the morning of the Trails Committee on the 4th. Um. <clears throat> for people that, people that work. Kristen, would that okay. work for you? No. Even, yeah, if, we, even like if we do 8 a.m. again, them. that doesn't work? Okay. Well, I think I'm less important than Everybody's Kristen and Sam. You guys, I, you know, what, I, I, and however so, you can get so, your, Well, you need a quorum, right? You need four yeah. people. Um, Sorry, my calendar. Yeah, that's that's okay. true. Well, well any, any time the following week would be good, too, except... The tenth, because I have plenty of work. I'm going that whole week of the eighth through the. I'm probably actually going the. What the hell day is that? Fifth. What about the morning of the first? <laughs> the morning of the first. Yeah. Yeah. I might be able to do the three of us. I might be able to do something the morning of the first. Should we plan for that? I could do the evening of the ninth. Work or the evening of the tenth. I can't do the evening, the tenth. That planning board. The ninth. Ninth is good. So. I can do ninth. Kristen. I just have to check with Ed, yeah, because I usually have Levi on Tuesday evenings. Mm, okay. You can bring him. Well, I can't. You know what? We could do it. I'd love to have. <laughs> <laughs> you want to have? He's a toddler. At this point. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Strap him down. I need a kid so fix. <laughs> 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 But maybe those who can could go meet on Monday morning, the first, and then we have a second set up for the ninth in the evening to catch up. We have to no, get a quorum, and so if you only mm -hmm. have three, and then oh, three. that's people abuse. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. You okay. got if you guys can do the fourth, I can, because I've been looking over everything, and like, uh, I am happy to give my input via yeah. email if you guys can do. Morning of the fourth, because we can't do the evening. We have the trails meeting. So what are we doing? Are we doing Monday the first? Are we doing Thursday the fourth? Monday evening, the first, the morning of the fourth, or the evening of the ninth? Well, why don't you tentatively plan one of those dates and or have it on the ninth and Chris can check as a backup. Ahead. Okay. I know for sure I can't make the ninth, and I can't make the morning of the fourth. I've got okay. I've those got are the only two I can make. So. We've got interviews for candidates coming on campus, so mm. it, and that's fine. You know, I can do the same thing. I can try and put input by mm. email. Well, it's not important that we have. If if more people can make it the ninth. Yeah, don't do rather than the first and Levi's fourth, babysitting. Just do the ninth. Just do it. And we'll yeah. do some prep work. Yeah, okay. Ahead of time, like. I'm not here, so I'm gone the whole week of the 8th through the 12th. What mm -hmm. about the morning of the 5th? Friday's fine. No, no, not the first thing. I can't, no, but. You still have three. I have to work, so but that's okay. The 4th <laughs> questionable. Well, not really. To work on a project, we oh, can okay. just come up with a draft and, and have it uh, available for the. Oh, all right. Yeah, that's true. You don't need the quorum to, to, to vote on it. To vote on it and right. amend it or okay. whatever. It's just a work group, really. Okay. So what's better for you two? Any any one of those would be will work. Right? I can't. Yeah, you know, I've got a Monday afternoon. I have a meeting. Um, and Tuesday and. Wednesday evenings I have Monday meetings, and then of course Thursdays the trails committee. The eighth, which is Columbus Day, is fine for me. Yeah, too. but we can't get in the building. Can't get in the building. And I would assume you can't get in the library either. 
I, I vote yeah, for the first, the morning of the first. See what happens. At huh? least, and, and have people have some ideas as to what that draft would entail as far as um, setbacks and how comprehensive we want this mm -hmm. ordinance to be. Okay. I won't be at that one, but I'll send you the, the Barrington stuff. Yes, that okay. would be good. Um, I mean, not Barrington, Deerfield. the Deerfield. 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 And as I told you before, my personal take is just, just keep this, keep this modest, so it can address you know the issue as it is. I like your approach to that. So you know, it needs it to be sense. gentle. Really, it has to be something that people can easily read and understand. With right, and it can't just go on and on and on. It's like too much. You know, it's like getting a big homework assignment, and everybody just rolls around. And Barrington's is one page. <laughs> Well, yeah, easy. Fremont went on and Simple. on. Yeah. And the other one I did was Barrington as a model. Much more. Well, because I was Just reading more. it, and it seems like the more that gets in there, the more room there is for misinterpretation. I was going to say, and interpretation, and, and then there's more room for controversy. Right. Your field's is short, too. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, it should just be one issue. You know, keep, we'll mm -hmm. keep the wetlands and the, and the lakes, smaller lakes, and at this point, vernal pools out of it. You know, just so we can get some protection for our lower water streams. Mm -hmm. Here's Deerfields. No building permit will be issued for any structure having a setback of less than 75 feet from any, any river or stream, lake or pond. It's it's a west. Yeah, Lee nope. is like a page <laughs> and a little bit more. And that's it, and it's very good. Well, that's pretty straightforward. I liked Barrington's I, purpose. I like, I like that one. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but that, that's good to, to purpose and intent. Right. And that was a big part of it, is helping people understand that it just goes right into the... Yeah. And this document that we got Which one did Kyle, you say, Chris and Lee's? That's the very Barrington's um, purpose and intent. This has some good outreach information. It's good data for why we need to do this. But their model ordinance is very long and complicated. No, no, I didn't like that. It was too us. Well, when I was reading that, I was like, we're not getting no, no, Kyle no, like, to do it. I like the beginning <laughs> and the purpose. And the then I got to stop these. I felt a lot better. <laughs> and the function and configuration of buffers and why they are important. Now, I can pull some of those to put in the next um, Nottingham newsletter thing. Mm -hmm. So are we, have we agreed on the first? The yeah, morning? that 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we're due for another roadside cleanup, Tom. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. True. I was going to ask. Um, so someone had messaged the, our Facebook page, and they wanted to know where to pick up the blue bags. Again? Yeah, which is cool. Yeah. But can, yeah, can we send people directly? to anywhere or they just use their own bags if we're not doing a cleanup? We'd have yeah. to clear that with recycling. Mm -hmm. They probably have to use clear bags if they're doing their own recycling mm -hmm. and do they're their bringing them to the recycling yeah. center. Yeah. We were talked about doing the, you know, the, the town-wide thing again this fall. So. Mm -hmm. Who has time to organize that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Unless yeah. we do it in November. That things will lighten up a little bit earlier. Yeah, but then we got to be do doing monitoring too. So that's going to fill right yeah. up. Yeah. Monitoring. So where well, do we get hard. the blue bags from? You're in the bags. state. From the state. Yeah, yeah there's a yeah. Northeast Recovery something center up in uh, Epsom on Route 4. That's where I picked up the thousand bags. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But essentially, we have to, if people are using the blue bags, you have to get recycling's permission because they're just. Oh, correct. So, well, and then they, they have to be, use. and someone has to be there to sort. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because they still had to be sorted out. They did out, have to be sorted. Right. Yeah. They don't just want people putting every, that's the trouble with like a lot of people right. will do roadside cleanup, and the state will pick up those bags with everything in them. They don't right. care if you recycle or not. Yeah. You can just put everything in those blue bags, and mm -hmm. the state will pick them up. So just encourage people to use their own. For what? Advertising our next road cleanup and just inviting people to join in, and we use the blue bags and they get picked up by the state. We're just. I don't believe they're supposed oh. to be done on that two miles. Right. So if we end up with 30, 
five bags of trash from a two-mile section on the road that historically we've only had six bags of trash. The state's going to well, go, we've what had the We've had 11 to 12. Oh, so. no, I meant still. <laughs> we've had a lot of bags on, on that trip. Yeah, no, I, I know, but I'm saying yeah. if you do this town-wide, then there's going to be a lot more than we're No, I wasn't really thinking about doing town-wide. I was just going to invite them to do our two-mile uh, two section. Oh, yeah, people want to think, help out with I, the I two think miles. the affinity is around their own road yeah. that they live on. Did you want me to um, ask Don to post to the October 1st meeting? Yep. Okay. Sure. But we could ask the state, maybe, that if there are extra bags from the people in other parts of town that have you know they and they may you know they're trying to find like you know state road or something but not town road right but there are sections aren't there of stage road that aren't covered yeah, oh, yeah. Well, and so we could maybe <coughs> extend yeah. what we're doing <coughs> to at least cover the parts of 152 that aren't Adopt haven't been adopted. Yeah, that's quite 156 <laughs> is pretty yeah. is covered. Yeah, I mean, we could put something out well. there of right. 156 is covered well, but a, a section uh, to see if people are, if there's any volunteers or mm -hmm. a group that would like to do a section of 152, because certainly, yeah, yeah, especially from like the town yeah. line in Lee. The yeah, they're line. supposed to be. A, the scouts are supposed the to have adopted do, part of yeah. that, but I'm not well, sure that they have well, been doing it lately. The other area that always seems to be kind of bad is a mile either way of Freeman Hall Road as people are coming oh, down. Exactly. And the garbage, garbage flies yes. out of the truck. Truck. Yes. So, I mean, that could be something you could ask for volunteers for that, and that's still a state road, so it could still be picked up by the state. Maybe chop up um, 152 into um, sections, like from Guile Road to Freeman Hall could be one section. Yeah. If people could adopt, and then from Freeman oh. Hall to. Oh, from Guile to Priest, and Priest to yeah. Freeman Hall. Yeah, Guile to Priest, and then Priest yeah. to and the Freeman, Freeman Hall up to. Oh, yeah, that would be shorter. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a need for it, so. Mm -hmm. Very good. So was that, was that something that you could put on the Facebook page, <coughs> Kristen? Yeah, we just date. need to know a date. All right, we need to decide that then. And it would have to be a Saturday, probably. And Sunday. they would just leave them on the road, right? And the state picks them up. Probably have to be a Sunday, right? So the people. Mm -hmm. Sunday? Sunday. Saturdays. In so the afternoon, the road is so be busy near the dump. Well, are you Sundays completely booked? No, I can do a Sunday afternoon. <coughs> Usually. 21st of October, any chance? 20th, 20th or 21st? That weekend is good. 20th is good? When it's Saturday the 20th or yeah. Sunday the 21st? I, I might not be able to participate that weekend. I'm yeah. having elbow surgery on the 19th. Okay. The 13th? And I do suggest I started using those picker uppers because I use those to pick up apples. And I have a, mm. my lower back's not always that great. So that help. saves your back. Mm -hmm. And then you don't have to stick your hand in the poison ivy. Well, do we have that in the budget to buy a few of those? I know. Buy a bunch of picker uppers at Ben's. I, I, know, I, know, I know somebody who. who uh, I don't who, have any more. I yeah. gave them all out. I know, but and I went I, back to the dollar store to get some more, and they oh, didn't they have was, them. They had uh, picker uppers? Oh, yeah. I, I, really? I bought them. 10 or 12 of them and get handed them out when we were doing Peace. trash pickups. Oh, so people have I have them. one. Yeah, I've got for one. Me. I got one. Sam has yeah. one, so that's one. Um, but yeah, if I'll, I'll look at the dollar store and see if I can get oh, some more. Better than 19 bucks or whatever, you know. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, they, yeah, they break after a while, but they're good for what a few outings. You said Guile they... to Priest, Priest to Freeman Hall, Freeman Hall to... <laughs> So October 7th is a possibility. Mm -hmm. Freeman Hall to Jabig is a long distance though. Yeah. That's a long haul. Mm -hmm. A couple of miles probably. Freeman Hall to... Yeah, there's nothing significant here. From Freeman Hall to Jabig is... Well, you could just have a, a, a street number or a house number. 
to that number and then go. We could divide it in. Where's, it. where's Deep Peace? Where's Beth's house? <coughs> that's just up uh, Yeah, that's up pretty, here. that's pretty yeah. close, yeah. too close yeah. to Freeman. Yeah. To the top of the hill? Yeah. You know, by um, Bachelters? Yeah. Does everybody yeah. know where the Bachelters live? Yeah. The farm? Yeah. yeah. The big barn on the left heading north. And then from there up to Kyle. I mean, the Jabay. Um, do we have a, a property map book that we can just look at and find out what that number is? Or is it right in front of you? I hate to use the house number, though. I know. Um, yeah. Well, Sometimes I think a hill I'd, sounds kind of yeah, well, nice. Yeah, well, that would be a farm on the hill or something. Okay. You could say to the whatever color that barn is, isn't it? Red? I think it's red. So you've got Guile, the Priest, Priest, to Freeman Hall. Don't, don't change dates because I, I might not be able to do that because I'm not available. On that. I'm just throwing out a whole bunch of dates. I yeah. don't think we've settled on anything. Yeah, I'm not. Basically, I, I don't have any free weekends in October. Oh, okay. Well, after, the one weekend I after Columbus Day weekend, I'm available. On Columbus Day weekend. That's for sure. Um, maybe Saturday the 13th? Isn't that Columbus Day weekend? When's Columbus Day? Weekend? Columbus six, week, seven, day eight. weekend is 6, oh, seven, six eight. seven, eight. eight. Yeah. Uh, let me just get that two, two properties here. It's one at 316 and one at 324. Well, how about 316 then? Okay. 316 Stage Road. 324 might be um, skipping on Heidi's. That could be. Let's see which. Yeah, use one that they won't be offended if they see their address or something. I don't even know if either from my Facebook. Or we could just put a, a stake in the ground with a piece of flagging tape on it and say just pick up trash to you. Well, we'll have, so have, I, I can't do it, that's my sister's birthday and weekend in Vermont. Which day? The 13th. Oh, okay. What about the 20th? That was our other date. That's it. 20th um, or 21st? You could just say, can somebody take the north Lower side end? and can somebody take the south side? Or the east side and the west side, however that goes. It's more east-west, I guess, yeah. the north and south. But north, east, and south they would meet, don't they meet? You guys, I'm just wondering what to tell people. Don't you meet at a certain time? Yeah, we usually the bags. Meet, yeah, just the so they I'll just, just say there are certain sections, and we can tell them. It just they should just contact somebody. Well, we will have, um, we'll and, have and have say the bag, have, have, bags the, have the bags available at the library. And then we'll all meet at the library and hand things out and hand out assignments there. What time? Well, what's the date? We don't have a date yet. Yeah. Well, if it is Sunday, because the library doesn't open till the afternoon, so it could be Sunday morning, because it would be nobody parked at the morning, library. So. People go to church, or some people do. Um, I have one, two, three, I have five Time's sections. the library open? 152. Okay. Yeah. So, so big to open on online. Saturdays, the library does is open in the morning, but not the afternoon. Is that right? Right. Yeah, they close, close, at, close one. at 1 on... Uh, oh. So we <coughs> either day doesn't matter. Too big to town line is the last one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What are the conflicts of football games? Do we have a date yet? What will we look at? It's a matter of getting enough volunteer. I mean, I'm sure it'll be covered haphazardly anyways. It's not gonna be you know just trying to get more people yeah. to show up so it's right. not just yeah. commission. Well, what about the twenty eighth? Of of October. October. So is that better for that? It's good for me. Close to Halloween, might somebody be, be doing some. Oh, Halloween. you're right. Yeah. <coughs> I can do the afternoon on that. On the 28th? Yeah. If there's not Halloween stuff going on. Oh, uh, yeah, they could. Some, you know, some communities will probably have Halloween that day. If it's that Saturday, they do have. 
a lot of communities celebrate the yeah. Trump retreat treat yeah. on the Saturday. So well. maybe the 20th or 21st. One of those I think that would be better. better. Yeah. I prefer the 20th. I have something in the morning on the 21st. Saturday the 20th. Or if we do the afternoon, that's fine. Yeah, I probably definitely will not participate then. Only because the day after, I don't think I'm going to feel like picking up trash. <laughs> yeah, probably yeah. not a good idea. No. And mm -hmm. we're also looking at the 13th or 14th. I can't do the 14th, but don't work around me. If I can do the 13th. 13th? Sam, 13th, 21st. Kristen, 13th? Kristen can't do the 13th. Oh. But you can do the f Facebook stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so definitely. Cool. What time? Nine? Um, is that a Saturday? Yeah, 13th yeah. is a Saturday. A lot of traffic going to the dump on Saturday. Yeah, that's the only reason Saturday. I don't like the idea of people being out on Saturday doing the trash. That's why we like to do it during the weekday, too. Yeah, wow. but then we're not going to get the community the involvement. Time. No, that's true. So, I th do What about now. Sunday afternoon, the 21st? Yeah. All right. I can do that. Okay. All right. I don't Friends know. at what time? Uh... Two? When do we lose daylight savings time? November. Okay, that's good then. 2 p.m.? Or 2 uh, to 4? Uh, not sure. I'll be or 1 to? I can't do 1. I, okay. I one, can't do 1. One thirty. Uh, I'm not even sure about one thirty. I'm not even sure about All right. 2. 2.30 I can probably. Well, maybe you'll be late. Maybe we started at two. I don't want to start too late because after you know we start. we start getting dark early. Yeah. People start. Okay. Yeah, they're not going to come. I might be able to get there by two. How about two? Just two to four. Two, two o'clock. Two to four. Okay. And one of us can be in charge of bags. Okay. We just have bags in an area. Like take your bag. You know, whatever. I don't know. I don't want to be too organized about this. Mm -hmm. um, do you want me to check at the library to see if we can um, leave bags there for people to pick up, and also here at the town office building? Um, in the select board's office. But I think we have to say this is 152. It's not, every, you know what I mean? It's not like that's correct. town wide, mm -hmm. you know? Well, that could be on the Facebook. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just let's clean up the rest of 152. Yeah. Hopefully. Just looking yeah. for people to adopt those five sections. sections. Mm -hmm. It would be nice for people mm -hmm. to then go officially. Maybe we could have information from the state. I can maybe find that. The state information of how to adopt. Right. How mm -hmm. to adopt. Normally. That's cool. A road section. Okay. So put um, the bags will be available at the library, but get wait until I get permission. Okay. And then also at the business office. Okay. Because we've done. Would, would well, the the question be? is, if you if you say the bags are going to be available in advance, then then it's not end going to end up being an organized thing where we all meet at two o'clock. And hand out the bags and give people assignments. Is that what you want? I think it's to pretty do? tough to get everybody there at the same time. I mean, I think about. Especially if they're going to drive all, all the right, way. All right. Well, how do people know which section to go and do them? I think we basically have bags will be there from whatever the morning on. Mm -hmm. They'll be at this location. Mm -hmm. and, and then just pick up your bag. Yeah, just no. choose the section you want to do. But they are going to sign up for. I mean, what if all. All the people no, want no, to do no, the same this section. Is not, Should we have this them is drop not, the bags off at a particular location? This is not the same program we did in the spring. This is just picking up and leaving it for DOT to pick up. I understand. I understand. Those but if five sections, that's it. And, and they can they can leave them all along the highway. The state will pick I understand them. that too. I just I'm wondering how do we get people matched up with a particular section so that we have, we don't have coverage to. of all the. Well, we cheap. might not. No, we may have a section that doesn't get cleaned up, and that, that's that. Is there a way that we could have them sign up for a section? Well, they could just or email us if they're going to do it. Or, yeah. and we'll we'll leave a comment on the post. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, that's, and people could look first come, first serve. Yeah. 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 All right, well, we, we do this thing on Potakaway where people are supposed to be doing weed watching, but there's never really a map, and nobody really knows where they're what their section is exactly and so there are a whole bunch of parts of it that I suspect don't get done so
if and it I gets think, done, it's a bonus. Cause yeah, it never I mean, there may be a section that doesn't get done, but a mile might or two may not get done. But better if, than, it's better than, better than right now, now yeah. where most of it doesn't get mm -hmm. done. So, all right. It might be simpler to ha just have them available at the library instead of like... In various places. Yeah. Well, if they live at the other end of town, might they not... Demons? Yeah, I was. I would think that Demons would be a good place to pick them up, mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. And I can check there. Yeah. yeah pick up exit library, business office, and Demons. I think Demons closes at what, 1 on Sunday? Yeah, but it'll be, they'll be available yeah. before yeah, then. Before that, okay. But people are just going to go off and do it on their own without meeting at a particular time then we don't even have to say Sunday at 2 to 4. Mm -hmm. Well, we need to pick them up. No, we just we say, so we get your, ba get your bags. Get your bags. They'll pick them up along the whole road. Yeah, they'll pick them up along the whole road. Oh, okay. Right? Say pick up, so we don't pick up your bags and do it sometime that weekend. How are we going to get a count done, Sam? Don't you? We'll have to drive down 152 yeah. and count all the bags. <coughs> or pick them up in the back of somebody's pickup truck and put them all in one place. I think it's safer for DOT to pick them up along the, the yeah. road. Yeah, but we need a count. Should we just But Sam will drive down 152. And count? And count. Okay. I'll count on the way back home. Well, I'll be, I can do that to Ann. Okay. It's on the way home for you. Okay, that's a good idea. <laughs> so are you going to say just to, to pick up bags and do it sometime that weekend? Yes. As opposed to yes. like 2 yeah. o'clock on Sunday? Okay. That's a good idea, yeah. yeah. There we go. At their convenience. Yeah. But it would be cleanup Chris, weekend. Kristen will do the I'll send I'll send you Kristen some info on the adopt and then just the usual reminders about be safe call. Well you have, do you wanna do the post or you want me to do it? I don't wanna delegate it. I'm happy to do it. Um really. Well if you can help me because you're better at Involving people, I'm not that people per. You know, I'm just like, okay, here it is. You know, and then <laughs> yeah, give me the safety stuff and okay, we'll craft it together. Maybe just cool. suggest that people wear like, um, an orange hat or a vest if yeah. they have one. It is hunting season. Well, well, well almost not well, quite. The, but it's still. not. It's not the regular deer season, but uh, both are, both season. It's both season, yeah. and they are shooting. Their pheasant season's probably going on. So people are getting in the yeah. gray squirrel in the squirrel, orange the mood. Open. Yeah, gray yeah, squirrel season. <laughs> Until December, I got my first one today. It was the carnage on the roads. Yes. Oh my gosh! Yeah, it's I, it's nuts. I have yeah. never seen so many. No pun intended. On the roads. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on route three. I'm on this week to find out who's a predator in the gray squirrels because I'm seeing that too, and I had to go to a nursery uh, near Concord near the school I'm teaching at, he had to take all the trees down to try to control the squirrels. And then someone who used to be on the selectmen, who's got the peach orchard, I ran into him at their, I can't remember his name, because it's been two years, at the recycle center. He says all his peaches are being ruined by squirrels. Yeah. 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 Well, chipmunks, too, are yeah. eating so a lot. I have, I have a feeling the predator, whoever the predator is, the squirrel, is not must not be around anymore because yeah. of the maybe nice open season on coyote there. isn't such a great idea but well, there are no pine cones yeah. this year <laughs> there's no pine cones yeah have you looked around mm -hmm. there were tons and tons of pine cones it's a big mass year around last year last year, year. Last year. Okay. Last year. Right. so i mean they were just coming down by the hundreds in our yard there's and also a 10-year eruption can't even walk happening on the property right now. where i'm renting it's all pine cones mm -hmm. all pine cones hmm. well that's pretty interesting are those they might be from last year no Okay, well then you are in a... Because last year I did all the raking. I haven't done raking this year. Wow. So there's a 10-year eruption well, of yeah, squirrels? Yeah, with who we've been working with. Um, you know, there's a two-year cycle, but there's also a 10-year mass eruption cycle, and we're in huh. that 10-year. Mm -hmm. But I also think, as opposed to 10 years ago, there's a lot more development, so they have to cross roads in between. Yeah. Um, you know where their house is and where they're gathering resources there's the um, drought and then uh, extreme rain weather pattern that wasn't happening 10 years ago so they're probably moving more because they're also swimming 
They're swimming. We have so many photos of squirrels swimming yeah. on Pawtucket Lake. And then distracted well, yeah. driving. I've, I've and then seen open season on coyotes and the the intentional harm towards predators um, and lack of enforcement of that is definitely on the rise. So I think it's so who do you think the predator all of those. Coyotes. Coyote are a big predator oh. of squirrels Fox. and oh. about hawks. especially in our. Hawks too, and a lot of our hawk species are not doing well, as great. Well, we go to the lake, but we don't have them anymore. Yeah. We have vehicles on the lake, What's but we yeah, it was coyotes the, are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So so, so s- squirrels are a species that does well around people, and so are coyote. So if you limit the coyote, but you don't, it's a re, it's a direct result of that mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. I did on um, data collection uh, a couple of weeks ago. From my house to one to 27 in Epping, 2.6 dead squirrels per mile. And then from Epping to Haverhill, it was like one squirrel every four miles. Mm -hmm. So the habitats changed from Mm -hmm. development. Mm -hmm. There's a lot lot of fewer Mm -hmm. um, Mm -hmm. um, oak trees because Mm -hmm. they've been cut down and now we have. Today we were driving from Manchester Peach out to Nashua on Route 3, Mm -hmm. and there were probably a hundred squirrels per mile. Yeah. Just bing, 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 bing. Going up to oh, the Lee Circle, great. it was just, it's just carnage. Yeah, yeah. the Lee, yeah. Lee's driving from, from Gross. Through, but there are a lot of squirrels out. Just yeah. A lot of living yeah. squirrels still. Exactly. Hey, what's getting the apple trees, the leaves? Do you know of any pest that's devouring the leaves? watching. What is it? The, eating leaves or? Eating or leaves. Yeah, I it's have denuded apple It's a caterpillar with trees. a red head. There's oh. A, there's yeah. a soft fly that Soft fly? Yeah, there's a. But it's a big caterpillar. Oh, the, uh, there's a there's a soft fly that gets them, but there's also it's this red-headed, red-headed something. Red-headed caterpillar that is oh. a, they're an aggregate. Yeah. You find them in mass. Yeah. Yeah. Funny little. Oh. Is it the fall? Are they fall webworm? No. No. Hmm. No, there's another one that that will eat them. But they did. It's been recent because I know I had when I looked. This was like three four weeks ago. At, at my apple trees way in the back. They were fine. There were some apples on them, but not a lot. And then I went back, you know, just like a few days ago, and I looked in the back. These are the wood, you know, the wild mm-hmm. apple trees. And I'm like, oh my God, they're all dead. Or they're not dead, but they have the, no, no leaves. leaves at all. Mine too. Yeah, that's, I yeah. think it's probably the, the red headed. I think it was called red headed. Wow. Cat- Interesting. Because yeah. um, the webworms are, they'll leave webbing. Yeah. Yeah, right. and they're you small see that, too. Right? They're yeah. obvious. Yeah. Yep. And they just do a section of a tree. But these guys, they haven't hit my trees this year, but the squirrels ate all the apples, so it didn't matter anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and the weather, I th- yeah, I didn't have a big apple year um, anyways. So. But the, there's a couple of diseases that are fairly bad this year that are causing... Um, Deformity in the throat. apples, too. Hmm. Top marks. I know a fellow at church has got some corn, and apparently squirrels have been in there as corn. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. First year he's really Getting whatever they that. can for food. They're yeah. going after everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they'll eat squashes, winter squashes. Well, here's one for you. They, when I came back from vacation, we had seen a squirrel. My hummingbird feeder was on the ground with one day when I came back, and I thought, it's kind of odd. So a couple days later, Charlene sent a photo, and there was a squirrel with its back legs on the pole, and its front legs had pushed the hummingbird feeder out so it could lap the sugar mm-hmm. water out. Wow. And it wow. knocked it up. So I put the, the squirrel guard on that pole. When I was away, evidently the hummingbird feeder in the back had run out, even though Barbara Walter was coming over. She was doing stuff for us. I went to fill the feeder and I went, they ate all the little perches and all the flowers off of the hummingbird they feeder. They ate the plastic? They ate the. the, ate the yeah. And, and and I went and lapped them up. Lapped so up. there was no way that I I mean I couldn't yeah. use the feeder really anymore. Destroy the feeder. <laughs> so I just kind of stood there and went, <laughs> "What happened here?" <laughs> and then I saw the dan- I got a new feeder. Charlie picked up a new feeder, and the darn thing was hanging off the feeder the other day, lapping out of the thing. So yeah, the squirrels love our tomatoes, <laughs> cherry tomatoes. Are we done? Yeah. I make a motion to adjourn. Oh yes, Jer- I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Aye.